This episode is brought to you by Dashlane. Try Dashlane Premium free for 30 days at dashlane.com slash infographics. And never forget another password and keep all your online accounts secure. You're home alone one night when you hear a knock at the front door. Curious, you go downstairs and peer through the peephole, but see nothing there. You open the door and take a quick look outside, but there seems to be no one. Annoyed at what must be a bunch of kids playing a prank, you close the door, when suddenly, there in the glass reflection of a window, you catch sight of him. A tall, bald man with perfectly shaved head, carefully pulling on a pair of black leather gloves. With a sinking feeling in your chest, you realize that you've really stepped in it now. Because someone somewhere wants you dead, and they've taken out a contract on you being serviced by the most legendary hitman of all time, Agent 47. So you've been marked for death by the world's best professional killer, probably for all that trash talking over Fortnite the other day. And now you're regretting your life choices, but more importantly, wondering how in the world you're going to win this fight to the death. Agent 47 has his origin in the 1950s, when five future criminal masterminds all served time together in the French Foreign Legion. Having served his time in the Legion, one of the four men, Dr. Otto Ortmeier, started up a mental institution, which he cleverly used to disguise his secret genetic experiments, often performed with the involuntary aid of his patients, promising to greatly increase the lifespan of the other four supercriminals who collectively, along with the good doctor, would come to be known as the Five Fathers. Dr. Ort Meyer convinced the other four to fund his secret research, and in turn he would grant them organs harvested from clone bodies. Dr. Ortmeier's research had but one goal, to create a superhuman who would have increased strength, intelligence, and reflexes while being free of the burden of a conscience. He believed that these genetic supermen could take control of humanity and would be the next evolutionary step forward for the species. Keeping his ultimate goals a secret from his compatriots, Dr. Ortmeier planned to create an army of these super clones. And when they became suspicious of his plans, Ortmeier deployed one of these super clones, Agent 47, to eliminate the four. Ultimately, the doctor's greatest creation would be his downfall, as Agent 47 would turn on Dr. Ortmeier upon discovering his plans of world domination and eliminate him. Genetically superior to normal humans, Agent 47 is faster, stronger, and more intelligent than the average person. He stands 6 feet 2 inches and weighs 187 pounds, and despite being in his 50s, he still has the same strength and stamina he had when he was in his 20s. Thanks to his advanced genetics, Agent 47 is all but immune to disease and can quickly recover from most injuries. Raised in a secret training facility in Romania since childhood, 47 is a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, but really excels in marksmanship with firearms, showing a great aptitude with both rifles and pistols. Trained to efficiently and silently eliminate his targets, 47 is a master of stealth and ambush, and clever enough to penetrate even the tightest security in ways that can be quite unpredictable to his quarry. So you're up against a super assassin who is not going to quit until the job is done. How are you going to survive this? First, you'll have to start thinking like an assassin if you want to survive being, you know, assassinated. Key thing to do will be to secure or at least eliminate your digital footprint on the internet. Whether you realize it or not, your day-to-day -day digital activity leaves one huge footprint that any expert assassin would be able to follow. Surfing the net without a VPN will leave you vulnerable to surveillance, and carelessly posting on Facebook or Instagram can easily give away where you physically are. Putting together hundreds of your different posts and all the locations you've been tagged at will make the job of tracking you down extremely easy. And most important for an assassin, it'll make pinpointing your schedule just as easy. Humans are creatures of habit, and if you want to survive being taken out, you're going to have to break your everyday habits. For this, we can turn to the world of counterterrorism, which has many lessons that can be applied to staving off your would-be assassin. First, stop posting. Yes, we mean completely. Tracking down your IP and thus getting a general location on your whereabouts is incredibly easy, let alone triangulating a cell phone signal, which, yeah, by the way, you're going to have to ditch that as well. Second, you're going to want to start varying your daily routines. Falling into a pattern is an easy way to get killed, because it allows would-be assassins to accurately predict when and where you'll be each and every day. That leaves a killer like 47 with a chance to plot the perfect place to ambush you. So take a different route to work. Change up when you go grocery shopping and where. Be unpredictable. Now that you've avoided getting taken out on the way home from work, you're going to want to make sure that you spend as much time as possible in public. 
Here again, we can learn a lot from the world of counterterrorism. Try and stick to large crowds as much as possible, and when entering a facility such as a shopping center, always stick with large groups of people. Never take off into a shopping aisle alone, and anywhere you go, always be aware of entrances and exits. Always have a plan to get to the nearest exit, and a backup plan to get to the second nearest exit. Sticking close to people will keep you from getting ambushed, but unfortunately, it'll make you vulnerable to 47 getting in close and eliminating you through much more covert means, such as perhaps a lethal injection, silent and very deadly. For this reason, you'll want to be very observant of the people around you. Try and look for things about the people that are all around you that seem a little odd or out of place. Is someone wearing a bulky coat when it's not that cold outside? Could be hiding a weapon or explosives under there. Is someone insisting on always being near you? Either you have a super fan for all those sick burns you left on some streamer's YouTube comment section, or it's an assassin trying to get close enough to take you out. People tend to like their personal space and someone making a point of getting close to yours should be a dead giveaway. Of course, with 47 on your tail, you're going to be looking for more obvious things such as a 6 plus foot tall guy in very good shape. 47 can and does use disguises quite frequently, but while a wig can cover up his famous bald dome, trying to hide his very tall and very well-muscled body is going to be quite difficult. This is the reason why you probably have little to fear from 47 trying to get physically close to you. He knows that you know he's after you, and he's also very aware of how difficult it can be for him to blend in effectively. It's a relief to know that you probably won't be getting stabbed with a lethal injection in the middle of a crowd, and since you're making sure to stay in public spaces, you won't be getting gorilla rotted in a quiet corner somewhere. But now you have to worry about something else entirely. If 47 can't get close to you, he'll just reach out and touch you from far enough away that you'll never see it coming. Yes, that means getting murked in the old fashioned way. Sniper Rifle Trying to avoid a sniper can be pretty difficult, but you can use some basic counter sniper techniques and some personnel protective services aka bodyguard techniques to keep your dome from exploding like an overripe squash in the microwave. Sticking to crowds is good, but even better will be to make sure that you are constantly on the move. You don't want to be a sitting target, so make sure you're constantly in the move, but more importantly ensure that you are moving within a group and never caught on the edges of them. You'll also want to try to be moving along the edges of the environment you're in. So if you're in a plaza full of people, don't walk through the middle of the plaza, but rather try to move along the edges of it. Being in the center of your environment will give a would-be shooter perched somewhere up high a very favorable angle to fire down on you from, while being closer to the edges will only give a shooter that same favorable angle from one direction, the one directly opposite you. Figuring out where to go and not to go though is also pretty important. Get in the habit of surveying your environment. You'll want to avoid places that are within a few hundred meters of anywhere with a high vantage point, so no courtyards or squares with towers or tall parking structures along the perimeter. You'll also want to make sure that you're aware of the position of the sun at all times and use it to your advantage. When the sun begins to set, make sure it's always behind you. This will help blind a would-be shooter but also let you spot a telltale glint of glass from a shooter's scope if they're not careful. Typically in you versus, we teach you how to defeat your enemy and what is always a fight to the death. Unfortunately, this time we hate to break it to you, but there's no beating Agent 47. He's a super clone that's the world's greatest assassin. You're lucky to land a small kill streak in PUBG while wiping Cheeto dust off your shirt. This you versus is definitely not about you defeating 47, but rather about you evading him. Using everything we've taught you here, you should be able to get away from 47 long enough to flee the country, move somewhere far, very far away, and very, very remote. You know what? That's not far enough. Hop on Elon Musk's one-way trip to Mars and become a planetary pioneer. Because to be completely honest, with 47 on your tail, Earth is no longer safe for you. To be even more honest, Mars probably won't be either. So as you can see, one of the best ways to protect yourself from a super assassin is to shut down hacks into your personal data before they can even happen. Since we here at the Infographics Show have no desire to let Agent 47 get the drop on us, we've been using Dashlane, the one and only tool you need to stay safe online. With a VPN, password generator, and breach alerts for when websites you have logins for suffer breaches or hacks, Dashlane will actively work to protect you across all your devices and online accounts so you don't have to. Don't be like millions of victims every day. Get Dashlane and keep your digital life secure right now. Head on over to dashlane.com slash infographics for a free 30-day trial. And if you use the coupon code infographics, you can get 10% off a premium subscription today.